Hi, this is Don, and today we're not going to go through a ghost story. Instead, we're going to review another somewhat famous Something Awful post, uh, believed by Super Mecha Godzilla. He's more infamous for his uh, film reviews, but um, this goes back to the first inaugural of Barack Obama, and any elder millennial might be able to sympathize somewhat with the atmosphere there. It didn't quite seem real, because hope was something of an alien concept coming out of the Bush years, and misplaced as it might be, the surreal nature of uh, his election to his inaugural to the ultimate reality of governing, it was a pretty magical time, especially since most of the elder millennials, myself included, were relatively young back then, and, um, you know, Halo was still, you know, it was still new and fresh, and uh, we, we had everything to gain, and then we lost everything. But you know, this is uh, something of a criticism slash parody of the expectations, not just on the left, but also on the right. There were a bunch of people saying, oh, capitalism is about to end, Muslims are going to take over, and eventually something awful settled on the appropriate response to uh, this collective insanity, and just went straight surrealism. Uh, there's some beautiful fiction from both the Barack Obama years and the Trump years as well, just trying to uh, make sense of this crazy, crazy world. And I'm just going to let you, uh, I'm just going to start straight in to this uh, little expectation, or rather, this piece of fiction set in Obama, day one, 2.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Muslims have vanished. Check for yourself if you don't believe me. Where have they gone? There's speculation, of course. Scientists mention this cosmic storm that passed the Earth on January 20. A man says they're all in caves. Certain groups lament a faulty rapture. A woman says he has taken their power and absorbed it into himself. She means Barack Obama. I doubt it, but he does seem somehow taller. The ground rumbles at times. The breaking news says Washington, D.C. with red concentric circles. I'm uneasy, but what can we do? Terror is defeated. And if Obama were a Muslim, he'd be just as gone as them. There's no cause for alarm. Within months, Barack Obama has declared a new war on vague unease. It's a good idea, because frankly we could all use some peace of mind. Approval ratings are higher than ever now that the Muslims are gone, but I don't think we're happy yet. His eyes are shining sometimes, as a deer's eyes shine in a flashlight beam. Small fissures crisscross the pavement. Trees are swaying, but the breeze is gone. Something is changing in our world. Airplanes don't exist anymore. Scientists explain the density of the air is too low to support their wings. But then how do we breathe? We should have died by now, but I think we're evolving. Our bodies haven't changed, but the atmosphere. One man says it is the rapture after all, and we have entered the kingdom of God. Barak is now the size of an oak tree. He sleeps outside since the rains have ceased. His skin is thick to bullets. Now he wanders through the countryside impassively. He ignores a rural photo op. He studies a leaf for 20 days. Only a fool would call this heaven. Satellites fall to earth like the rain used to. No friction burns them away. We trudge past countless flecks of solar panel and ribbons of golden cloth. It's a silent car crash every few hours. Though cars themselves no longer run, no oxygen remains to ignite their fuel. Obama strides across the landscape, taller than the Freedom Tower. We've given up on assassination. All men are immortal now, and the guns no longer fire. I'm starting to wish the Muslims were back. We found them. With a telescope. Images of a colony on the right side of the moon. See the parts that jut out from the lower right? I think they're mosques. Soon they are visible to the naked eye, but how? The cities are enormous. We watch them as they live and die. They have our atmosphere. The moon is fringed blue. Look at how they wield their guns, writes a man. I always said you'd take our guns away. They eat and sleep as we once did, building ziggurats. We have everything we wanted, but oh how we envy their strife. It's long been clear that Obama brought this uncomfortable perfection upon us, but I can't bring myself to blame him for it. He's reminded us all of how our lives have been discarded out of fear. I now know why he grows each day. In time, when we are ready, he will reach out into space. 
He will raise us up in his great hand to this new earth that gleams like a frozen star. And if Obama does not carry us, we can climb. As stupid as the selection is, <laughs> it's far from the most stupid. It's beautiful. It is among the most beautiful things I have ever read, and it will always uh, stay with me. It's kind of fu it's kind of funny how these. You, you, I know it's the height of you kind of had to be there. You had to be in the college dorm room reading this at uh, the exact state of mind, but it will forever be one of the most poignant pieces of fiction in my life, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Oh, and call your mother.